Good Thursday, everyone. Our weather map today shows a very active weather day across the country, but not nearly as active as tomorrow is going to be. We'll have showers across the central U.S. today. Some of those may reach our neck of the woods by Friday morning. Farther to the north, you'll see uh, freezing rain and sleet across portions of the upper Midwest, and then heavy mountain snows for the western states. But my goodness, that's part of a big storm system that's going to be wrapping up, especially later tonight, and then ejecting out into the middle of the country on Friday producing a very damaging day of severe weather. Look at our five-day forecast. Today's looking nice, mostly sunny. Highs in the mid-60s, just barely a breeze. A wonderful day to get outside and enjoy the weather. Tonight, the winds start to pick up and temperatures drop into the mid to upper 40s. And then by Friday morning, we have showers across the area. Wind gusts to 30 miles an hour possible throughout the day on Friday. I think by Friday afternoon and evening, we're looking good. Partly cloudy and very warm, becoming more humid as we get toward the evening. And that will set the stage for an active Friday night, a chance of 100% chance for showers and thunderstorms. And some of those storms could be severe, with damaging winds being the main threat. And then Saturday, look at that, mostly sunny highs in the mid-60s, but very windy. Wind gusts of 45 miles per hour are possible. So even after we've dealt with the storms Friday night, we've got strong winds coming out of the north on Saturday that could down some shallow-rooted trees, especially after we've gotten that about an inch of rain or so Friday night. So the soils will be saturated once again. So what the bottom line is prepare for sporadic power outages across the plateau from Friday night into Saturday for sure, just, just to be safe. Frost Saturday night, lows in the, mid, in the low 30s, continued windy. And then we finally start looking good again by Sunday. Sunday's looking great. Sunday's looking like a carbon copy of today, actually. So if you like today's weather, you're going to love Sunday's weather. <laughs> and then Monday, our next storm system starts to get into threat. And once again, we have a chance for showers on Monday. Looks like mostly cloudy skies Monday night before the more active weather arrives by Tuesday or Tuesday night. I'll keep you posted on that as we go forward. Look at our severe weather threat for tomorrow. Um, the Storm Prediction Center has just updated this map, and so they're really highlighting in on areas of eastern Arkansas, western Tennessee, and then there's another area of uh, elevated threat across eastern Iowa, northwest Illinois, but we're all in the threat for severe weather for Friday night. And my severe weather concern in that main th threat time frame at this point looks like midnight to 4 a.m., Flash flooding risk looks low. Straight line wind looks medium. And I may bump that up to high as more data comes in. But that straight line wind threat is going to be our number one concern. The hail threat is low. And right now the tornado threat looks low. But stay tuned because as we saw with last Friday night's event, you know, that, that can change. Um, so uh, just stay tuned. On this day in 1899, a storm buried Ruby, Colorado. A storm that had buried Ruby, Colorado under 141 inches of snow came to an end. And Ruby is an old abandoned mining town in the Elk Mountain Range. So my goodness, what a snow! What a snow! What is that? 11 and a half feet of snowish? Yeah, that's, that's it's over 11 feet of snow. 1987, a storm spread heavy snow across the Ohio Valley and lower Great Lakes region. That's hitting close to home. Cleveland, Ohio, had 16 inches of snow in just 24 hours. Wind gusts of 50 miles an hour created 8 to 12 foot waves on Lake Huron. So what an interesting situation. Nearly 100 record lows were reported across the southeast in the following days. Woo, that was, a, that was an event. Well, you folks have a wonderful Thursday and keep looking up. For more weather information, read along in that blog. I'll keep you all posted. I'll pass along any information that you need to know between now and Friday night's event. I'll, I'll post some special updates from time to time just to keep you abreast of the weather situation. So you all have a wonderful day and uh, just keep it right here to me or I'll just mark.com.